us overhead. We were correct that an unseen hand was guiding the Vex. Quiria, the dreaming mind, brought this endless night with it. It has been draining the energy from the city. We do not yet know why. Ikora and Osiris have thoughts, but the details do not change the truth. Quiria must be stopped. But first, we must find it. I have reached into its domain, but the Vex forces break my sight. I believe I am close, but I must focus. You, Guardian, strike the Vex now with great force, so that I may see Quiria through your ripples. It may seek the destruction of your city, or of your vanguard, or something even greater may be at stake. With this victory, the threats of night are further unraveled, and the weaver of this dark tapestry can no longer elude us. I have found a route to Quiria's hiding place. It is concealed behind numerous layers of defenses compiled by the Vex. But now we have a target. Something we can hit! I would caution you against underestimating Quarrier. Agreed. We must strike carefully. Mitigate Quarrier's ability to rally defenses. Then, punch through the network like a white-hot sword of Praxic fire. We can do this. Together. Together. Osiris, there is something I must discuss with you. Lakshmi, she came to me with a proposal. Are you taking over as Titan Vanguard? She discussed it with me as well. Lakshmi has radical ideas, but they are only words. No cause for alarm. Good, good. Only words, of course. She wants what is best for the people of the city. And in truth, you would make an excellent leader. I do not seek authority. Zavala may have a beautiful desk, but he is chained to it. We could use less bureaucracy, maybe. A more proactive strategies, where we reclaim ground taken from humanity. An open council in the city to speak with the citizens. Ha! I have imagined a new vanguard. Led by us. Led by you. I would stay back and advise. I lack the temperament for leadership. Ah, a fantasy only. I told Lakshmi I would think about it so she would go away. The words, ugh, tasted like treason in my mouth. Let her believe you are considering it. If you refuse, I imagine she might approach Lord Saladin there. And after what happened with Kaito... I understand. Later we will speak more of this. It appears Lakshmi is speaking a bit too freely. I could report her behavior to Ikora, though I imagine she already knows. You should continue working with Lakshmi. Don't mention what you've heard. We must keep this as quiet as we can. With the Endless Night and the Elixni here, the city has become a powder keg. One errant spark could be the end of the vanguard. I feel Quiria's vile presence pulsing in the heart of their network. I feel a strong hand pull against the threads tied to everyone living in this city. This has gone on too long, Guardian. None can spend so long in the night. Death surrounds this place. The true death, which always starts from within. I have heard your people say it is darkest before the dawn. There is comfort in that, yes. But I fear this endless night will grow even more terrible 
before we see the sun again. People of the last city, the last time I spoke to you, I was silenced. Clearly, I could array fears the ugly truth. The vanguard have betrayed you. You need not take my word for it. Simply look at their actions. The vanguard have turned their backs on the light and now openly reel the darkness. They force you to shelter a horde of fallen, led by a fugitive with ties to the vex. And finally, they try to cover up Southern's involvement in it all. Agorare claimed that the fallen could stop the endless night. But on the contrary, they have only made things worse. It's even possible that the Witch Queen walks among them. Unfortunately, the current vanguard will stop at nothing to protect their place in their ivory tower. They don't understand the people of the last city, and their actions prove it. Future war court, a new monarchy say, enough. <laughs>